When placing a new order, please log into your account and it will bring you to this page. Here you can place a new order from scratch or you can choose to use samples or primers from a previous order within the last three weeks. Please select the option that you want and choose the template type that you wish to sequence. If you know the size of your plasmid, please input this in the box provided. However, this is not necessary if you do not know the size. Please select from the drop down list how you wish to send your samples to us, whether that is in tubes or in a 96 well plate, but please do ensure that orientation of the plate is correct. You can also choose to add synthesized primers to your order. Type in their primer name and the primer sequence and select add. This will save these primers to your account and give you a list of the primers you already have available to you. If you don't wish to use synthesized primers, please unselect this box. You can also choose to add email addresses to your order by typing the email address in this box and selecting add. You can upload your samples by Excel spreadsheet or by manual entry. If you choose to use the sample sheet template, Please ensure you download a new template every time you've added new synthesized primers to your account as this will update the list of primers that are available to you. Once you've downloaded the spreadsheet, please type your sample name into the first available column and you can choose to either use a primer from the drop down list of in-house primers or your synthesized primers will be at the bottom of this list or you can type your own primer name in. However, you cannot fill in both of these columns. Please select any pretreatments that you wish to add. Once you've completed your spreadsheet, please save it to a safe space in your computer. On the website, choose to upload your file, find the correct file and confirm and upload it. This will give you a table that summarises the reactions that you've added. Here you can add notes to the individual samples or you can select and unselect pretreatments. Once you've completed your order, please select next. If you wish to add manually imported samples, please select this button here. Here you can type in your sample names and choose any primers that you wish to use for sequencing. The drop down list is again our in-house primers and your synthesized primers will be at the bottom of this list. Or you can choose to type in a new primer name. If you have this button selected here, this will remember the primers that you've selected so that you can use them for subsequent samples. You can also choose to add pretreatments and this will re remember your selection for the next sample. Please check that your reactions are how you expect them to be and then select next. Here you can add additional notes to your order and choose how you wish to submit your samples to us. If you choose free post label, you can download it here or you can choose collection box drop off. Please then read the sample requirements by clicking this link and then tick to say you understand them and then submit your order. If you have e-vouchers available to use, they will show in this drop down list here. You can select how many you wish to use and it will update your balance. If you have a remaining balance to pay, you can select checkout and then choose to pay via credit card, PO or spend down if that's available to you. Once you have checked out, you will be shown a summary of your order with the order number at the top. Please write this order number on your bag or envelope before you send your samples in to us.